Don't try this at home, kids. I'm a, pro I'm a professional. You actually are. I, I'm legitimately a professional. That's the weirdest thing. Yeah. yeah. Hi guys, it's Alex again, and I'm here with a Rain Nomad Elite Mark II XL gaming laptop. And what we're gonna show you today is how to fit some additional RAM or memory to the system in case you wanna upgrade it yourself. So this is really easy. On the bottom of our laptops here, you have a bunch of different holes, just Phillips head screws holding the laptop bottom frame to the rest of the system. What I recommend you do is get some kind of something to put the screws in, a plastic cup, anything like that. We're here in the repair center, so I've got a magnetic screw tray specifically made for it. The other good thing about our current laptops is that all of the screws tend to be the exact same size, so there's no difficulty remembering which screw goes where. So yeah, as I said before, just take your number one Phillips head screwdriver. I find that to be the best. Magnetic tips go a long way to making this job a little easier, and uh, just start in any direction you want to start from. So give it a little spin, take the screw out, into the magnetic tray. Some of the screws sometimes will get stuck in there, get a little difficult to come out. As long as they're loosened, you're ready for the next step. What you need now is just to identify the seam, basically the point where this sort of solid panel meets the other side, and then get something thin that you can squeeze in. What I have here is a tool for prying the screens off of smartphones. So anything like this, nice and thin, generally made of plastic or nylon, so it's uh, electrically inert, always a good suit. Don't uh, go into the cutlery drawer and grab a butter knife, because that's not going to do anything good for you. And so if you start at one of the USB ports or just on one of the corners I always find is helpful as well. And once it gets started, it's really easy to get it going the rest of the way. So just run it along. And just like that, once it's fully open, it's best not to open it at an angle. Try to get it like a flat lift, just like that. That's really helpful. And there we go. So there's still some screws trapped in there. I'm not gonna spin it over just so that the screws stay in their position. They might even be captive screws. And what we have laid out in front of you is what the inside of your laptop looks like, at least a gaming laptop. We've got a bunch of different components here. I guess uh, that's probably the CPU right there attached to a cooler. We've got our dedicated GPU chip into another cooler, big old battery pack, uh, top end, NVMe memory, but what we're interested in right now is the RAM assembly, which is right here in the middle. You can see it identified by these two identical little catchers here. And these catches are actually quite easy to use. I'll remove a stick to show you. All you do is these metal tabs on the side, just spread them open and the RAM chip will lever up at an angle. And then you just pull it straight out, just like that. To put a RAM chip in is the exact opposite. Enter it at that same angle, insert it, push it down, and you don't even need to move the wingtips. You just push it down, they'll move out of the way automatically, and you'll hear a nice little click. So, for the sake of argument, let's fit our new RAM stick. All right, guys, what we have here is our additional 16 gigabyte stick of RAM. I always recommend running your RAM in dual channel. That means if you have space for two sticks of RAM, use two sticks of RAM. It actually helps the computer process things a little bit quicker when it can divide its processes and its tasks between two separate sticks of RAM in the same channel. Uh, it's a bit more complex than that, but essentially, um, if you needed 16 gigs of RAM, two 8 gig sticks, always better than one 16 gig stick. So yeah, we've got our new RAM in. It's all secure, it's flattened. You heard that nice little click. So now it's just a matter of putting it back together. Just line up the edges. A good way to tell with a laptop is look for the coolers and where the vents are exhausting and then just look at your laptop. And you can see on the back here, we have these exhaust grates on the back of our Nomad gaming machines. And then just as you removed it, do the same thing, place it flat and Click it down. Now it's always good to come in afterwards. We've got all of our screws here again, so we're gonna start putting those back in. And once those are all back in, do a last little examination of the seam, make sure it's it's nice and flush with the rest of the surface. And that's just to benefit you, you know, this, these are nice laptops. You wanna make sure they stay looking nice. Right guys, and just like that, it really is that easy. We have doubled the memory capacity of this gaming laptop. This is gonna be a huge benefit for any kind of really CPU intensive games, content creation, any kind of multitasking on the system, running multiple 
programs, it's all gonna be a huge benefit from doubling that memory capacity. So if you like videos like this, if you like these guides, again, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all the things everyone's always telling you. It really does help a huge amount. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna play a little bit of games right now.